All right, we're going to begin the class now. And we begin the class by first reading out of the uh, Holy Quran, Chapter 25. And thanks to, um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is your wife's name? <laughs> Celestine, thank you. Her book was here. She forgot. I forgot to give it back to her last week, so I have it to use today because I left mine at home. So we're going to um, start off by reading Chapter 5 of the Holy Quran, the Holy Covenant of the Asiatic Nation. If you are in agreement, affirm after I finish reading by saying Islam. Ye are the children of one father provided for by his care, and the breast of one mother have given you suck. Let the bonds of affection therefore unite thee with thy brothers and sisters, that peace and happiness may dwell in thy father's house. And when ye separate in the world, remember the relation that bindeth you to love and unity, and prefer not a stranger before thy own blood. If thy brother is in adversity, assist him out. If thy sister is in trouble, forsake her not. So shall the fortunes of thy father contribute to the support of his whole nation, and his care be continued to you all in your love to each other. All right. So I'm going to do this right now. <laughs> Praise God. Now, was that her? Her computer got little notes and marks up in here and everything. <laughs> all right. Um, so let's see. I'm introducing and beginning the class today, but Rob Mariah Bay is going to be doing the class today. Um, but um, oh my gosh, what should I what should I what should I talk about? There's so many topics of discussion that can be discussed. There's so much going on. How many people? I know nobody in here participated in the, the voting of the United States of America because you know you're not citizens of the United States of America, and they can't vote, right? But how many people know that the vote that they did on November 7th, was it? On November 7th. Is it, is it, wasn't it, was it the 7th? All right. That everybody thought they participated in was not the vote for the president of the United States of America. How many people, I, I mean, I knew it, but I didn't know it, you know, and somebody called, huh? Well, I, I don't know nothing about it either, but I do know that they have this, you know, this, this oh, go and get your voter registration card and so you can vote, you know, and then I found out that two days ago they had the actual vote and they announced it. Usually, I'm ne- I don't know because I really don't follow it, but I've never heard them announce we're having the electoral college vote today. <laughs> I've never heard them announce it, but they did. And what's interesting is another piece of information I found out was that um, the November 7th vote, Hillary won the popular vote, which is what polls tell you, right, who's popular with the people, Right. But they told you on November 7th that Trump won. How could he have won when they didn't even have the Electoral College vote yet? And isn't it just interesting that the person they voted for two days ago and won happened to be Trump? What would have happened if Hillary won on November 7th but two days ago, they elect they selected Trump. I mean, that's actually what happened, right? But they let you know on the 7th of November that they were picking Trump because that's who they announced won. But the popular vote, and you know what? When I heard that, I remember Gore. Who was Gore, the vice president? Was he running for president or was he running for a vice president? He was running for president. And I remember hearing, was that the one where the votes in Florida was all messed up? I remember hearing that 
Gore won the popular vote, but Bush, one of the Bush boys, won the so-called election. So based on what happened to this time, this year, this month, they actually let you know that the true people, the true person that the people had picked was Gore. And they let you know who was going to be selected by the Electoral College on the same day. How? And you know what's interesting, always interesting to me, is that they tell, they put this stuff right in our face, right in our face, and they count on the people not paying attention, not paying attention at all. Now, I want to talk about just for a second about paying attention. Because I saw this movie, and I have to watch it again. I'm one of those people, I will watch a movie if I think it's trying to say something to me. I'll watch it 50,000 times. I'm, my daughter will come in the room, you watching that again? Yes. <laughs> but I saw this movie, Focus. How many people saw the movie Focus? I heard about it. I knew it was a Will Smith movie, but I never watched it until like two or three days ago. And I fell asleep. And then I woke up and I watched it again. I think I was talking to somebody and they said, made some mention about how about when they get, which they said before they watched it again consciously, they said, what's really going to blow your mind is when they show you how they got the guy to pick number 55. And I swear, it's like I must have been astral projecting because I remember that scene, but I was asleep. So anyway, I went back and I watched this movie, and everybody, you need to pay, you need to watch that movie, watch it and pay attention to it because that movie shows you just how um, unaware we are as a people. Like we're so unaware that people are manipulating us, like right in our face. They can walk by you because we're so preoccupied and take things right off of you, right off of you. Like, how do you take a watch that buckles off of somebody's hand and they don't feel that? How does that happen? How do you reach into a woman's purse while standing right there eyeballing her and she doesn't, I mean, if I feel the slightest twinge on my purse, I'm looking down. You know, she felt a little twitch. Well, maybe she did, maybe she didn't. I don't know, but they took her wallet out of there, and then and then they had this whole network of people set up playing along, and these people were scamming to two to like four billion dollars, and it was all a setup because they know the vast majority of people are asleep. Like, you can stand in front of them and do stuff, and they don't even see it. And this movie focus demonstrated that. I was like, wow, if that's not in your face. It happened to be going on down in what they call Louisiana. Louisiana, New Orleans, all right? Now, somebody might think, well, you know, they always got something going on, Mardi Gras, celebration. They be acting. It's like people down there near um, New Orleans, they be partying every day. That's the impression they give me. They party every day. Ain't nobody working in New Orleans. They party. <laughs> That's the impression I get every time I see something about New Orleans, except for Katrina. Okay? Other than that, everybody in New Orleans is partying. And nowhere else. They don't even talk about nowhere else but New Orleans, and they're always partying. They had a bar, some Bourbon Street bar somewhere, drinking and partying. But, so that means automatically they're distracted, right? Now, they're showing you this as it relates to what they call New Orleans, but guess what? This is happening across the nation. And they just did a focus on the people two days ago and on the 7th of November in your face. Boom. And you didn't even see it. Then they were like, let's see what happens if we tell them. So they told you, boom, in your face, 
and nobody said nothing, nothing. They do this all the time. They can, you know what, people always say, how can they get away with this? How can they get, you know how they can get away with this? Because everybody is so complacent. Everybody is comfortable. I got my little two-by-four room. It's heated up in it. It's, it's rent controlled, and, heat, and hot water comes with it, and I can boil some water and throw a little lemon in there, and I'm good. We ain't supposed to be living like this. Really, we're not. You walk down the street and you see people struggling. How is that possible? How is it possible? Because the people allow it. You know the fact the majority of the people on planet Earth is Asiatic? Do you know that if you train an elephant, elephant is big, right? Step on you, you're done. But if you get an elephant as a baby and train it, don't step farther from this area with the little little chain that's on the leg. It will never move farther than that little area. But if it steps on the chain, it'll disintegrate. But it won't step any farther than that particular area. That's how they have the people. Unless you drop a mouse in the mix and then all hell breaks loose, right? <laughs> but, but the vast majority of people are asleep to what is going on. That's why you can murder a young man on the street, record it, send it all around the world. And the only people, only thing people know how to do is go and march and sing, we shall overcome. How about we sing, we shall remove you from your job, because you ain't supposed to even be there to begin with. There's nothing that sanctions you in the Constitution. How about we sing, we hold the state accountable for the contractors who are out of control? <laughs> so that sort of kind of brings us to um, what's going on on this continent, what was established by our ancient foremothers and forefathers, and how we, being the gracious people that we are, established the United States of America Republic for the modern Europeans. How do I know? It tells you this in congressional records. Back in 1774, I have the documentation. I got the conversation, plus you see this in the Articles of Association. It's right there. United States of America Republic was established for modern Europeans by our forefathers. So what is the construct that our forefathers already had in place and full swing for eons or of cycles. Anybody know what the name of that construct is? Because it ain't the United States of America. That just came into being in 1774. We ain't no new people. We've been here a long time. Anybody know what that the name of that construct is? Morocco. Exactly. Morocco, flag been flying for how long? Over 50,000 years, Morocco. It wasn't, it wasn't written up or it wasn't drawn up and, 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 and stitched up in 1774 like the, like the United States of America banner, which is not a flag. That flag's been swinging for over 50,000 years. And that flag represents the Aboriginal Indigenous people of this land. Another flag that represents this land and the people is the continental flag. These are ancient flags that represent an ancient people. Anytime somebody want to bring something that they made up last night and talk about this is your government, they're absolutely uninformed, because family and government 
a synonymous word. They go together. They mean the same thing. Uh, family is government, and government is family. And if people can get that in their heads, when they start looking at history and you see uh, the government of the United States of America, you see the government of the United States of Morocco, they drop the Morocco, the government of the United States of Morocco, you see the government of the United States of Mexico, the, the government of the United States of Brazil, the government of the United States of Cuba, the government of France, the government of Russia, the government of Great Britain, they're talking about family. All across the world, we are one family. There's only two families on this land. You've got the modern Europeans, and then you've got the Moors. There's only two families. I don't care what name they want to take on. Yes, we got five titles, but those five titles represent one people, and those people are the Moors. There's nothing else. So if you say that you're a member of the United States of America, you have just admitted that you're out of your blasted mind because you're saying, as heavily motivated as you are, you're a member of the, of the modern European family under the construct of the United States of America Republic. Now, well, it wasn't when we first started. That's why we call it a republic. We establish that republic. Now, republic, if you do the uh, etymology, etym- uh, republic is talking about a representative form of government. If you look in the, um, what is it called? The, the Secret Treaty of Verona. Secret Treaty of Verona, Article 1, it says, do not ever, ever allow the slaves, modern Europeans, to establish a representative form of government on the land here or anywhere else. And we catch hell today because we helped them establish the very thing that the British Moors didn't want them to establish because once they were able to establish that, they were no longer looked at as non-human. So you can't treat them like animals and put them in, you know, 12 by 12 boxes and ship them all around the world. That's what we, well, not us, Moors of Al-Morocco, but the British Moors, our cousins, that's what they was doing. That is exactly what they was doing. And, hold on a minute, they've gotten to tell you the truth. In this book called White Cargo, The Forgotten History of Britain's White Slaves in America. All right? So let me just read you, um, what is what do you call it? The, um, the chapter outline. It's because it's kind of, uh, no, I got this online. Turn it down. My voice went. <laughs> I said that to my daughter. She said, Amazon is not your boyfriend. I said, yeah, I just do this every day. <laughs> Amazon, quick delivery, two-day shipping. Um, this book is one of many books that are now popping up that is telling the truth. So I'm going I'm to read you just the chapter outline, and I'm going to turn it over to Razmarazi's back. All right, so chapter one, A Place for the Unwanted. Elizabethan adventurers dreamed of an American empire that would give them gold and glory. Others saw the new world as a dumping ground for England's unwanted poor. Those poor that they're talking about is not Asiatic. Whenever you see the word England or English, they're talking about the hybrid which is the modern European. You don't believe me? Go look in the Oxford Dictionary. Look up what the word English means. You'll see hybrid. Chapter 2, The Judge's Dream. A highwayman who became Lord Chief Justice planned to colonize America with criminals. He began to empty England's gold and set a precedent. Chapter 3, The Merchant Prince. We talked about merchandise last night. If you are 
supposed to be engaging in some kind of contract, there's got to be some merchandise, and you can't be the merchandise. So where's the merchandise? So the mastermind behind the first successful English colony in America was reputedly Britain's richest man. He kept a fledgingly Virginia going and paved the way for the first white slave. Now, what is suspicious in that scenario? I'm going to read it again. No, no. The mastermind behind the first successful English colony in America was reputedly Britain's richest man. How can a British, British, British more be English? Right? Right there, you know that there's a little bit of trying to shade up the story. But let's continue. Chapter 4, Children of the City. The Virginia Company, do you know where the Virginia Company is today? The Virginia Company today is um, it has what they call Washington, D.C. And on the other side of that is the Maryland Company. But that Virginia, that's the Virginia Company, all right? The Virginia Company wanted youngsters to work in the tobacco field. The burghers of London wanted to rid, wanted to, wanted rid of the street children, so a bargain was struck, and hundreds of children were transported. Hundreds of children were transported. Now, I've got a friend. He has these collector items. It might be a little bit warped, but he's got all of his slavery collector items. <laughs> and he said that all of the little things, the chains that they had around the, the, the wrists and the feet, they're the size of children. So when they tell you that they shipped African people by the millions across the ocean, that's a lie. Because even when they reenact it, they, they show in grown folks. But if you go to the historical records in some of these museums, you will see chains that were, could only have been children. It wasn't adults that they were bringing over. Why? Because adults have a shorter lifespan. You're already an adult. But if I snatch up the children, I got about 70 plus good years if I make sure that you're treated well. All right? Um, the jagged edge. The new world was a magnet for the poor. To get there, they had to mortgage their labor in advance. They were not to know that they had contracted into slavery and might well die in bondage. They are not dogs. Chapter 6. Virginia was run by planters who pushed through laws that relegated servants and apprentices to the status of livestock. Notationally, they had rights, but planters were literally allowed to get away with murder. Sound familiar, right? Chapter 7. The people traded. In the 1630, almost 80,000 people left England for the Chesapeake, New England, and the Caribbean, most of them indentured servants, a ruthless trade, and people developed in which even a small investor could make money. Chapter 8, Spirited Away. Untold numbers were kidnapped and duped onto American bound ships and sold as servants. The spiriting business became as insidious and organized as the cocaine racket today. Even magistrates took a cut of the proceeds. Still going on today, right? Chapter 9, farmers in their own land. Ethnic and religious cleansing in Ireland became a model for Native Americans. Who might those people be? Being cleared from the Chesapeake during the Cromwell era, Still more were displaced, and Ireland became a major source of slaves for the New World. Chapter 10, Descent in the North. Until the 1650s, Scotland fought shy of transporting its unwanted to any English colony. 
Then religious and political dissent were made punishable by transportation to the Americas. Sometimes more died on the way than ever reached the New World. Chapter 11, The Planter from Angola. The idea that Africans were Virginia's first slaves is revealed in the myth through the story of one who became a planter himself and went on to own white as well as black. Barbados, Chapter 12. In the 1640s, Barbados became the boom economy of the New World. The tiny island sugar industry would outperform all its rivals in profit and in its ruthless use of slave labor. Chapter 13, The Grandees. A planter aristocracy emerged in the Chesapeake. Its members dealt in men, land, and influence, creating dynasties that dominated America for centuries. But stories of brutality deterred would-be settlers from immigrating. Chapter 14, Bacon's Rebellion. The planter's nightmare of a combined uprising by blacks and whites came true when a charismatic young aristocrat turned an Indian war into a campaign against his own class, the English grandee. Swearing never again, the grandee set out to divide the races. Chapter 15, Queen Anne's Golden Book. Bogus promises of free man persuaded hordes of Europeans set up and lead for America. They began the nightmare journey that left some so impoverished they sold their children to pay the fare, but some outfoxed their exploiters. Chapter 16, Disunity in the Union. Scottish clansmen, Scottish clansmen would be more, by the way, were sold as servants in the Americas while their chieftains were allowed a comfortable exile in France. Sounds like the division between family today, right? <laughs> Two different fates for Jacobites after 1750. Merchants made fortunes selling the clansmen in six different colonies. Chapter 17, Lost and Found. The tide of kidnapping continued under the Hanoverians. You guys know who the Hanoverians are? If I'm not correct, that is a Moorish family out of what is today referred to as Russia, Russia slash Germany. And two famous instances, victims return as if from the dead to denounce their abductors. One claimed to be heir to an earldom kidnapped by the man who stole his birthright. Sound familiar? Chapter 18, His Majesty's Seven Year Passengers. After 1718, England subsided, subsisted, women, subsided, subsid, oh, subsidized the convict trade, and America was deluged with British jailbirds. Paranoia grew with soaring crime rates and epidemics blamed on convicts. Only employers were happy. A convict servant was half the price of an African slave. Chapter 19, The Last Hurrah. Having won their liberty in the War of Independence, Americans had no intention of allowing their country to serve as a penal colony ever again. Britain had other plans and an astonishing plot was born. <laughs> White Cargo. They're finally starting to tell the truth. I have another book on the way, and uh, when I get it, well, I'll review the um, contents with you. At least check it out, see how far it goes. Um, there's another book that I found. I'm telling you, these books are just coming out of the woodwork, and some of them are not new books. Some of these are old. They've been telling this story for a long time, but we haven't been reading those type of historical books or, or informative books. We've been busy following the soap opera book that kind of came out of nowhere and launched the 
Harlem Book Fair, but told us nothing about our heritage, our bloodline, our nationality, and our birthright. But they often got to say, all right? So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Rod Mariah V. Bye. Absolutely. And you know you're not even on right now. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on the phone. All right, are you unmuted? I am now. Um, we United States of America Republic. Do you want anything wrong? It's, it's just in that alone. If you're reestablishing, it's not fun, not new. Secondly, the United States of America Republic was established for those foreigners to come on our land. So if there's more out there saying they're reinitiating it in any way, shape, form, or fashion, why would they do that when that was for those who needed a representative for a republic? So more may decide, oh, yeah, that's it, because these people called in on our show, not called in. Well, you got this guy's break about that. Oh, you don't want to explain it anymore. I'll explain it. The reason why we thought it was important to bring this up to do because of what they did a system on our national nationality, but it's your statement. It doesn't mean any, you know, what do you want to more America? So, all the people who are finally there are more Americans, right? Or more Christians, whatever, it's all the same. Uh, you know, after that level, you say, now that we've, that's just a long ago, now that we've, my God, again. Now that we've come to the level of, of accepting, acknowledging, recognizing, and being who we are, as the prophet advised you to be, and as we know to be, now, oh, you can name more America, but unless you join the United States of America Republic, you're still stating. This is why we had to be the foundation. We lack, we all know we lack honest and foundational principles on what's up. So if you already know the United States of America Republic, was established for foreigners or this land to, to be members and citizens of, you know, would not buy that. And so it's our duty to say, so let me just say this, especially since the question was asked, are we going to tell the people? So let's consider we just did. All right, that's the answer. Now, um, what I found interesting is, and it's two things I want to to track, and one, of course, the United States. Explain Christmas, which is plastic, all the way down to why you do this. <laughs> right, because he knows that let's please make sense of it all. Because it's all originated from universal law, cosmology, astrology. That's the true law. And so all the way down to why you've got the green five minutes going and talking to other or whatever color they go. Some people change the color. Now they change the color of the Christmas tree. And the evergreen tree, why that is even you? And once you know what that is, you can understand it. This <laughs> is better than rebuking it and rebuking the energy of this time cycle that repeats itself every year. You know. Um, but before I do that, they know what that is. They think about it. And they have people say, but you think you know about it. And they're going to share the information. But here's what I wanted to do. This, what we're talking about, this is not just 
that people do everything and anything except enforce the laws of the land. They even go so far as to say that there's a new law. No, it's not. We haven't even enforced that which is. Yes. You're going to bring in something new? No. It cannot be done. Now, we get a class here in the North Texas Mississippi. I know that you're listening. May not have any switch to that class. And some of the people here may remember it, may not. Because that's 42,011. Principles do not change. And we keep showing this. And measure everything up to that. That's what you have to do. And the same goes for when you do learn that strategy and policy and the fundamentals of it, the blueprint of it, you measure everything in your life and everything in that, and your life personally and otherwise, do that. And what you're going to find is that it meets every end. It, it, it doesn't fail because it is about the law. Then you find that you want to go on and manifest it in the flesh. Then you want to have to be collective stand. This is it. It's so appropriate. I don't know what about this. It's so appropriate. It's appropriate that I was looking at the direct what we can do and what we can do with the end of and then it's so appropriate that we are not because we're going to talk about what's happening with the end of the Watch this. However, I ran across, when I was looking for something on the strategy um, in my archive, I ran across a class of the collective prayer. Vision that we have today is to speak a lot of people are not going knowing and, and effectuating the foundational fundamental principles, period. And how that has been brought to us. Those basic fundamental principles have been, in some ways, brought to us through pseudo religion, and we don't recognize it there either. Because every religion that you can even think of comes from all law. You know, that's it. Now, if you were to study these things, you would recognize it. We would all recognize it. So the collective said, "Two, I keep repeating myself. This is up like." At all that I found this class, which means it's recorded somewhere. Now, we're going to do a live then, but we were giving out on um, these little class things at the time, um, like little syllabuses. And it's called the Collective Center. So, how appropriate for right now for that? Because it's this. And there's only one thing that I want to change for you. Because before I tell you what I want to mention about what some of the uh, weird boards. Uh, the first thing is trying to find a way um, are doing. And like that's the only time you might be going to you see the battle yeah. Like you see people who are bringing the battle but you didn't know it's going to be that style. Everybody wants to do that. Like there's nothing wrong with that, that and there's a best strategy, but whatever you get to enter, you must enter into it as in your practice person first. You can't go to some contract that you think is going to make you in the mind, it's meant to enslave you and lack of love and balance. So, what happened back then is this person must have written a lot of questions. We can't go to the top It's not positive. And we responded to it. So, the first was called out. So, how did this class went then? The collective stand is what it's called. Collective stand, family, like Annie just said. Nationality means family. Government means family. So when you have people talking about supporting a new government, they tell you they don't want to be a part of family that already exists. This is about going back to the mindset of your ancient foremothers and forefathers, not starting something new. If you really, really think they're going to start something new, when they change the whole that which is. You haven't enforced that which already is. But it doesn't matter that we were intentionally diverted by it. Now that you know, then you know you know how to do that. So I had in this class, it was done on October the 12th, 2011, and I was visiting 
in 2016, CC Block, CC County, Bureau of the County. So we're talking how many years ago? Five? One or two? This is great Islam. This is great irreverence to letting those who are violating the law know that they are, that know in fact that they are. However, I have only one concern to be clarified. This is another one. This is our land, our government, as indicated and supported and affirmed in, most all, in all congressional records, and even in the chapter 7, chapter 40. So you got more things there coming from the more information and profit of the JLD. And it tells you in chapter 47 to preserve your sexual estate. So something is wrong with that. That means somebody is not reading or passing on that very perception of God being to others, such as all of you listeners and maybe in this room, I don't know, the shoot this way, who will listen to us and let them never take it out. That's why we don't do it. We can't get information. Yes, we have done research for you. Some people say, oh, that's too easy. You made it too easy. Well, if you're not interested in your own freedom, that's on you. If you think you're going to come into a class like this that's giving you disgusting, valuable information, and because of there's no bells and whistles to keep your interest, then you need to go somewhere else. That need to not go somewhere else. You got your failure to be If I don't have a talk to me, is that enough? To get you to move in, you know, like the Bible says, well, more they ain't going to do nothing but at, at, at the uh, point of a sword, like this. You know what I mean? Like, not new. You're not new. You're not new to that person, that, that mindset. You're not new to it. And remember, this book is not going to get done what it is. You say to your sister, God, well, you don't know, feel anything about it. It's really a recognized child. You're being violated. And as far as liability, how can you recognize that somebody is violating the law when you don't even know what it is? Is it a possibility? So if you're spending time, money, energy, why don't you do that too? So then when someone says to you and gives you these facts regarding it, you can say, oh, yeah, it's not. Or you can find it yourself. Now, what is the mindset? We really don't feel you can get to spend it until we don't believe it. That these modern European colonists were distressed and lost themselves to say, hey, that this is their ancestral state. And it's their power. It's a perceived power. And it's good for them because we keep buying into it. And that's the only way to make this free. I'm just saying, it's a lie. Awesome. This is only just a common thinking, right? So, this is our own government. I indicated and supported the case in the congressional record, as firm and supported the staff, several seven chapter 47. That's one of the people who said it's very robust, but that's for me. That's just fun. Um, and this is the first amendment. That's a fact. You do some studies and say that it, that's what it is, because when they told you it is, that's what it is. is. The Constitution is the tool of trust that we. Authorized. That's the point. And the public officials, you know those one where everybody thinks they're going to go and vote for? That are our trustees with a derived authority, which is the Constitution. All right, this being said, because we, the Bay, and the all must enforce the law in our own land. The Europeans are the foreigners. Here it is. It's not hidden. We told you to put it, all information for you in the Alabama. And it's not just Alabama. It's just that it's out. It's easy to say. And he just read some chapters of the uh, European, the uh, poor white slaves in America. They were the first slaves here. Y'all do know that, don't you? No, maybe not. Maybe now, but not before some time that it came to you. I know it's true because we was all over the ground saying we were sorry and trying to come up with you know, the uh, 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 people, society, trying to fight the fabric they can on, slaves from South Africa, and look what they do, look what they do, you know, we can't do this, look at these guys, and we're the ones who are the teachers of freedom and writing an entire freaking planet. So I know that we can say that too. So we went to that um, Dalton show too. They don't hide it there, that's all. Cars are natives. 
your community today and they're your family and you rebuke them. Why? Because you don't know who you are. But they know. <laughs> Somebody's going to go save this nation over there. Not that I say this. Raising the question is, can we show up in your bag for a while? Can, can, can we have a build and a conversation? Can I share some history with you? Or are you still hitting the head about that feeling bad? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Later. After the colonization. Not before. You know, we listen to this sister name. Was it? Where are her? Where is her? Let me say it again. Gary, why am I? She said to the brother, I mean, it was so eloquent. Probably not going to hear she said, because I came over here on a slave ship from Africa. So you know what? He doesn't know the real old family. I don't know the real old But just know this. You came to my land. This is the whole perception. So, <laughs> so, that being said, then you have the government of the trustees acting under the right authority. It's the same people. Then people are like, be oh, kind of nice and you can't tell them, man. You want some people want you to find it. And it's going to die gone because they have their own agenda. Anyway, and since they know no one has ever, when I say they let the corporate institution of education from the municipality, which is absolutely one of its failures. Nice. Why is this institution of learning? It's not a call cool that information to you. That's why it's not a school day. It's so bad. You see what I'm saying? Being understood. It is clear that we now must inform the international community. Who are this is two thousand and seven. And after this, that's exactly kind of what we did in the United States. We started hitting the Department of State Secretary, Secretary of the State of the Department of State, not the local union state that is really a corporation because they say state of public is say New York State. That's the republic. And corporations knowing you didn't know the difference. Everything you get from this is state of That's not New York State Republic. They already knew me that your own mindset was part of big things that government. And bring that sense of the generation to believe to be so as well. Now that's as simple as it gets. You want to unravel some things. You have to know the truth. You have to miss the truth. It cannot be by any other way. You're not going to say, oh, I know who they do this, they do that, better people work for life. No. You want to hold every question that you have to the fact that they seem to be uncivilized, that they broke a wall, it appears, but they did something wrong, it appears. And you want to judge them for it, but you won't.
even with our kids now. I'm just saying, we got to be honest with our kids and things like that. We got to understand where we're coming from. And I feel bad about that. Because it is. We're specific to what you have to know. Truth about it. Because it's only us and then pass it on to the business, the younger generation. Well, fix it. I know this for a fact. Because I could always make this point. Everyone says it. Everyone is, 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 has had to talk about it. But no matter what, you know, you can come along. This is what a young man had a war. This is what a young man had a war. Oh, you know, she talks about it. You want this. But it's coming. It's there. It's, it's there. So, it is clear that so we must understand that it is an international committee to go back to what we started doing. We started with the Department of State, Secretary of State, sending a proclamation. Uh, to, at that time, with Bill Clinton, because she was in charge of all of this. We don't care about the fact that there was corporations established under the state that were businesses, because if you had a business or corporation established, you had to go be registered with that school. Contract. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Sure. That's okay. one thing that makes this, this is one of the reasons why we can go back to challenge that or saying this violence is before it. Because mm-hmm. that, that fact alone. But when you have morals and actually proclaim the nationality, so going back doing that first specific thing, now they going back into those contracts in their right mind. That's how they're going to look at it. But, okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so like, that's better to go back in your right mind? No. I'm saying you're already in your proper proper status. Right. And you're still going back, you know, with the birth certificate. Oh, I'm not, I understand what you're saying. They're going to look at it as, you know, you're doing that. Yes. And you can't. It's not going because you, you want it in the right state of mind. What you're saying is to complete what I say. Now you put yourself into a contract that didn't even exist before, and you're going to have to come out of it. And that's why they laugh at and still know they can continue to do what they do because supposedly you're in your right mind and you came and did this dumb stuff because the truth is let it. It's not a contract. It's void ad initio. It is in it what it is an instrument that proves what human traffic. Why would you go and do anything with it? Just live your life like it doesn't exist. And if you ask me, well, can I see your birth certificate? No, I don't have one. That's an instrument that proves human trafficking. Now, in a minute, in a minute, exactly. That's what you say, and then you shut up. And if anyone says, well, can you substantiate your position? Put it in writing. And it can never be reviewed because they ain't never going to put anything in writing that's bold. Or hold them accountable, or anyone accountable is fine. So that's the first thing, and that and that's a very good point, brother. Because now you are held accountable. You got you're the nationalized. You know you 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 say you raised up. You know you're not sleep anymore, and then you go messing with some void of initial documents such as a birth certificate instrument that proves human trafficking, and you know that nothing can change your descent nature. Oh, you know, they're using it they're using it to put us in and say, Yeah, you bet your slavery is in the mind. Our slavery is in the mind. If you can't get out of the mess of slavery, you don't have no business trying to attack anything, anything, anything at all. Because you're still mentally enslaved. So you're not really competent to enter or re enter into anything. Which is why your duty and obligation was to study. Study, study, because you just found out who you were yesterday. Go back to the mindsets of your ancient forefathers and forefathers, do some history, heritage, and history, and find out who you are by descendancy, and that this right here is your intentional state, and then understand that the Constitution, which is the law of the land, that ain't never going to change, because it's a written document, and as such, it can't be altered. And it's all based on spiritual principles. So why should it be altered? It's for everybody. Is there walking into divine principles? So if you're walking into divine principles, you can't even expect to wake that. Okay? It's my uh, I was talking on TV, right, about Trump. So he had his baseball, he had his baseball cap on head, USA on it. And just tell me right then and there that He's a part. He's a Union State Society citizen. Well, the beginning of this class at Eat Express. Huh? To the who? What menu? Um, and he's already explained. And just now, when they told you, got it. Okay. When they told you, he just explained for you. You went out and you wasted your veterans' time. So when they need to go vote. To get a license, there's something that has nothing to do with you, really. And then you did it. And you had a house to vote. And you got on people's case because they wouldn't vote. Don't you want to change things? And then they showed you three damn back in the face. Your vote was not a vote. We said come out to the what? Poll. What is a poll but an opinion poll? What more do we want? Because if you knew 
that constitution, which is the law of the land that you are to enforce, I don't give a dang on who is not enforcing it, is done in the principle of, uh, it's done in the spirit of divine principle. So if you call a it, it shall take care of you. Guaranteed. That's not anything divine. All right? So if you read that, you would have known. That's the whole damn thing. It says, we people of the United States, which is a collective, North, South, Central, and the adjoining island, to do what they did for own. The United States of America, how could you possibly be a member of it? So then you go and you read it and say, this is what states can do. This is what states can't do. This is what, you know, Congress can do. Congress is several. Because the Continental Congress president was just a representative of the Continental Congress, not of your people. It was just extended on to, 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 uh, to not to, to, to interface with them. Because you're private. This is your stuff. You're the Aboriginal Indigenous people, just like Sister said, or you said that the Pope came and told you you were. What that? Have to that, see, right? Oh, well, you know, I'm not that. I came from Africa. Then go home to Africa. That's what you think, because Africa, this is no force to Africa. And our African come and get you. That's like they're coming over here. So let's make some sense of this. This is the heartland. This is it. This is it. This is it. So you got to know the history. And you also got to know that I don't care how many guns they have. And it also mentioned last night that you bought a bar. Are you good? Am I good? Okay. All right. So she brought up, right, because I move around a lot. I know that's because I'm an air. It's all. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing less. Not fancy. Not fancy. Just there. move. I mean, people who are water and earth. You see And you see. That's it. That's crazy. Can't say it. What are you? Okay, air. Right. So now, and you know, respect the law. Respect the law. Respect it. That means re look at it, revisit it, re back, look, look again. That's all. Don't be judging people for what your limitations of understanding are. Respect it. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> let me get <clears throat> so so when we did this thing with the internet, well, we started with the um, <clears throat> uh, Hillary Clinton, and look at that. I saw all of them started coming in. What did she say? Oh, the first person to recognize us was Morocco in 1787. Excuse me, why are you guys going over to thinking that's Morocco the kingdom? She just told you. So where is those, where is that at? Where is those people? What's up? I don't know. I don't. But there's so many derivatives of, you know, I don't care if this wasn't being done for the baby, that's the case of the posterity. You need to stop teaching it. It's bad for posterity. You got posterity. You ain't nothing but an ancestor to return yourself. So it is clear that we must now inform the international community that we started with. Um, letting the Secretary of the Department of State, when you talk about the little thing, little state, 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 corporation, none of that, Department of State, because the Secretary of the Department of State handles, people say, international affairs, also domestic. See, I had to go up on and look at what the duties were, and I think they changed them now, and they don't give that same definition. I mean, you find them, because they don't want you to know. They figured if you want to know, teach yourself. I'm not going to teach you how you could, you know, tell me that I'm out of pocket. It's not going to happen. You worried about your children right now? Ooh, they ain't going to teach, teach them cursive writing, just penmanship, teaching yourself. So they're not going to do it. Now, you could take a position. If we could get collective mothers, fathers, parents, and go into any of these schools. And the man thinks, look, my child, I, I want you to teach the son this thing. He really could do that, but it ain't going to happen like this. You know, you're 
you kind of could, you know, think of it all. But that ain't going to happen. We can't, we can't even get it straight in our head. Why we can't? It's just like someone I just sent them. They got a card that says AA 2 which means I'm a general and permanent character, basically. It says tax non authority. Why are you asking me how do I work my tax exempt number? Not a tax exempt number. So if you don't know that, then you aren't going to get working. And if you don't know why your tax non obligated, don't change the fact that it is what it is, you're not going to be able to work. So until you know why you are, don't ask how. So it is clear. So once we get, once we let um, the Department of State, then we were like send this to the international community. Now a lot of people think that's not working, but it is. Y'all know that. The international community. I mean, there's a lot. And you'll hear people say there's a lot of uh, these trustees that have a warrant for them, and they're coming after them, and all that kind of stuff like that, and and like that. Maybe there's some people that keep more closely tied to that, um, because they're criminals. International, they're criminals. Problem is, or their actions are criminal. Problem is, we, the people of this land, don't even recognize it. Won't say jack. Like I said, won't say nothing about that. So, uh, so now the international community, let's say, who all, and I'm talking about the Interpol, the World Court, um, what's the other one? Interpol, World Court, what's the other court? International Criminal Court, you know what I mean? ICC, World Court, and, uh, Interpol, which is international police. Because remember, it's more your issues are national, therefore international. They are not actual municipalities. So they already, the international community already supports human issues and rights. It's evidence in even their, their publication. I mean, the Declaration of Human Rights doesn't give you a right, it just affirms those that already exist. Right? And the rights of the child, declarations of the rights of indigenous people, declarations regarding genocide, etc. And, you know, that's not what's happening. This being done so that those who are committing treason and, treason and acts of genocide and human trafficking, human trafficking is a part of genocide, and violating human rights and law can, can be justly handled. If, you, if no one knows this is happening and we're walking around like it's okay, and we don't, we don't seem to have a problem with it. Why do we think someone else is going to find out a problem with this thing? They can't fix you. They're not, nobody's coming over to say, hey, you know, we're going to help the nationals when they ain't claiming they're nationals. Yes, sir. Well, actually, there's no such thing as constitutional rights. The unalienable rights or what the Constitution secure. There's no such thing as my constitutional right. The Constitution was written to protect your other lineable, inalienable rights of birth. Referred to as Red Judicata and some manners to really, you know, express that because the only reason case law comes is that somebody uh, uh, violates it. And take the two place where, okay, let's look at this. And then it came from, but what about this? I mean, is that what you already is? And the reason why a lot of people don't want to go back to that is because it simplifies the whole problem. The reason why people want to say, well, where else should I don't know, someone has something to say about race. I'm like, well, you can break that, right? Because all of our rights can't even be written down. I mean, you know, you know that. But still, so, so when you say race, you kind of have something to do with the case law, really. Or any new case or any old case or just what is? Just what is? How can you not what is? You know, find people to try to, oh, no, I don't deal with the, I don't deal with this. Let's try, try to find a problem with that. I'm telling you. And then I'm talking to okay, these are people who want to keep you with slaves and they're your own people. That's all it is. And, you know, call it what it is. Because it's not really complicated. So, with that, um, understanding that uh, we, you know, what we must do, and all these declarations that are already the international community already on this, it's got to get that. Um, 
Now, when I say that this is being done so they can be justly handled, folks, for committing treason, well, nobody ever says anything, or committing a genocide, or you don't say anything, then, you know, it's all good. This is why it must be done. But, and I why. And it was said, can you make a presentation where, about your situation? But sometimes you might have to speak it. I mean, really. And if you don't have the right words, you got to do a diction. Jury is right, diction words. You got the wrong stuff coming out of your mouth. The first two is words. So, um, be done in written form for the record and as a record of what? Substantiated evidence. These people are really getting bad now where, you know, they're they're showing you their real colors, but they're calling as well as in time. Interesting to call to you. So, now, <clears throat> so I wrote this letter and said, please, this is really a good letter in a way. I mean, for the most part. As long as this, I agree with you 100% in taking back our land, they think they said land, and birthright as the highest priority. You probably can not go anywhere. You don't even know what they are. Claim them and live them. But I understand the word. However, we've been trying for years to get these messages to the masses. And yet, and this is someone else right next to me, right? And yet, we only scratched the surface in 2011. Scratched the surface in reaching out to our people of the, to our people of the affairs of men. I think what I interpreted from the de facto government official was that they are only going to recognize us if we all show consistency. You're damn right. Send in it for safe. If you got a monster that likes to eat your blood, right, and he sees that one of you is weak, you are gone. What was the word you used earlier today? I forgot what it was. That it shows a um, theme open or something like that. They're going to get you. If we're not consistent, how do we get to have a collective consistency? To have the knowledge of the fundamental foundational principles of this thing that don't change just because you whatever. They don't change it for everyone. So if I was trying to suck your blood like a vampire, which is your birthright, blood and I, and I saw that one of, one of you was weak, I'm coming for you. And that's what's happening. Not to be discouraged because, you know, many are called to each other. Everybody's going to be fine and so they can solve their problems back. However, this is what's up. Collected. So he says, well, um, until we are able to show uh, consistency, they're only going to recognize us if we all show consistency. So some of our infiltrators are going to make sure you don't show consistency. And offer you all kinds of things. And because you fail to know the fundamental principle of civilization and and, and law, you fail for it. Again, the the weakness. I am not saying, this is inside so far, I'm not saying I agree with him wholeheartedly. However, I do agree agree if we are all going to make it back what is ours. We all have to come at it with the same highly spiritual devoted righteousness that will make the Europeans see our see our ancient foremost the fathers in all of us. In us all. You are directed to many of the citizens and you must go back to the mindset of the foremost the forefathers. And that's the light of truth that shines through you and it will be So uh, if we continue to show the vision in any form they will capitalize on that to disregard our rightful birthright with the use of illegal practices and bullying techniques that harass our people so much that we do not have the finance to do it out lawfully with these corporate self. As I said before, um, it, it says they will ca- ca- capitalize on our right. Uh, ca- if we continue to show division, back to the fundamental principles that don't change for anyone. They are the, the that's the glue that holds it all together. But when we show the vision with that, 
So what I am saying, this is the letter story. So what I am saying is that in order to get them where it hurts, is to take a lesson back from the mastermind in slavery who made secret codes to alert each other when danger or signal was established. It sounds like we were one on the plane page from here. Or it sounds like secret society has been established in the Handshakes and wings. But it's all right. It's established and understood on all levels of the more divine and low, divine movement. But you know, the prophet himself said, as it goes to cloth, I'm shaking the cover off of all things. So we're not supposed to be acting in that form. And that's all that you get in most of these so called organized group associations and stuff. It's unfortunate, but it is. Because, like I said, it's simple. Don't make it complicated. And, and most of the symbols that we use body language, you know, man must learn by science symbols, but they're all just normal body language stuff. You know, it's not special because somebody is made in a club and then it is just normal stuff. You know, you say, Do you hear me? You know, all kinds of You know, that's all that. We think we know stuff. But the greatest of all is the one that's from the heart and it's it's from, from the heart. So, so what I am saying, okay, and that now we go, we said uh, established and understood all, on all levels. The more noise we make, we'll be in silence by doing the two diligence. The, no, the more noise we make, we will not be in silence by doing the due diligence and not just preaching about it. I like that. Preaching about it. You know how many people are so used to going to their Sunday church reverend and all they do is listen to the preacher, preacher, preacher. Don't know he's in the full place only you in, but you're indoctrinated to that. We've seen it over the years even here. We're not trying to preach. We're trying to teach. But some people need that preaching. No, they really don't need it, but they think they do. And what it is, is because you lack the foundational information and foundational uh, ground in order to act on anything. So you just come into wherever and just sit there and listen, and then it goes right out the right side when you leave. Just leave. So many want, and you know what? I was in, um, as some of you may know, when you're in advertisement, they say you have to say something three times, like even a commercial. Minimum it must say, it must go three times. So in three, before the person even really hears it. You know, but that's what that really used to be in Africa. We just wanted to like, keep telling me until, keep hitting me in the head till I wake up. Keep hitting me. Keep hitting me. Well, unfortunately, time is running out a little bit, but it's all good because it's really all up to you anyway. So many wannabe profiteers are popping out of the woodwork. Remember, this is in 2001. Popping out of the woodwork to say they are following the prophet, but only to find that some of these dirty marks are only following him to get a prophet. Which is so sad to see because I am a victim of dirty marks setting up and betraying. But if you study the foundation, you wouldn't be a victim of no one. But we'll talk about all that another time. It's a question to be said. However, I am fighting to keep our moors to be charged in the organizing and elevating spirit in this spiritual warfare. If we could take back our lands right now, what in God our laws name would any of us be ready to demonstrate in nation building, industrious acts by governing our own lands once we acquire it back? You don't acquire it back. It's always been there, but that's okay. We can also signal certain times of, I mean, we come here every second and third Wednesday now. This is really hard because it's about the word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> To empower our lawmen and women for spiritual protection when we go against the so called powers, so called powers to be. All I'm saying, let's be prepared for all of it, and when we do take it all back, this time we're not letting it go. Oh, it's wrong. So, <laughs> so it's not bringing it to peace, but I hear you, and that this is me, man. I hear you, and I feel you loud and clear. It, it is about the spiritual knowledge, thus, the divine and action movement of, world, of the world. Because the divine law is a supreme and ultimate law, which cannot be put in words. However, the Constitution is written in the spirit and principles of that divine law, 
and is common to all. It does not determine or hinder our total total rights. Amendment 9 and 10. Does anybody know what I mean when I say Amendment 9 and 10? But I have a constitution that's right there on the side. <laughs> Amendment 9. How many have framed Amendment 9? No, I'm talking about the uh, Constitution law of American nationality. In other words, it says what? The enumeration that is in this Constitution of certain rights shall not or disturb other rights that are retained by the people. It's limited. Yes. It's limited. It's a section of Article 1. Section 9 and 10, I think it is. No, 8 for Congress and 9 for the state. It tells you what they can and cannot do. They do what they cannot do all day long. What is OS? All right. So, and then 10. And I read 10, I'm sorry. And I read 9. The powers that are not. In case you didn't get it. The powers that are not delegated. Not oh yeah, that's because somebody else for delegation of the power. You don't have to argue to tell me what I can't even have. The powers that are not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor are they pre- nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. I can write do what I wanted to, provided that I did not infringe on your right to do the same. That's what that means. And now I told you to look at this not written in here. They don't have, they can't do it. Because this is the, like the, the guideline and the yellow line, yellow line in the road. Stay in your lane. This, this, somebody, yeah. That was never on the application before. He was, he was had an application for some welfare benefits, and it said national or system. Oh, you did? Okay, we're going to share it with the people. But no, can you let her look at the review that? <laughs> you want? You want? Go ahead. You want yeah. to <laughs> The um, so called welfare benefits. That comes um, under the Social Security Act. And in the Social Security Act, it says they can't even ask you questions like that. Well, there you go. It's voluntary. How many people um, have uh, insurance with GEICO? Nobody got insurance with GEICO for your car? It used to be it used to be that when you when you went to go and get insurance from them, you had to give them the SSN number. Not anymore. It's optional. It says it right there. Optional. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means the work is being done, right? Right? And then you got family people who don't realize that the work is being done. And they're coming out with some other stuff. And so these people say, oh, y'all don't know? Okay. You want to, what did you, what are you asking me for? Damn, we can get some more. That's all that's happening. That is it. That is all. Like, everyone knows that the driver's right to instrument will no longer be able to be used at the airport for identification. How many years have we been telling people that thing is not an ID? But if you go to a place and they ask you for ID and you show it to them and say that it is, then it is. <laughs> and they will hold you up to that. You get it? So what's happening, me? what this means is they're going to have to use that for what it is. You got people running around. We've got problems with a lot of our people being put, uh, kidnapped for that daggone thing. That's the right. That's horrifying. That's human trafficking as well, used as such. 
You see? But don't get mad. Be glad because victory is assured and it's all going to be in your hands. But you need to have the, this knowledge, this basic knowledge. Otherwise, as it is now, our real problem is not the pilgrim, not the elite. Not the colonists, not the sex because we already know who they are and all that corporation. It's your own people. It truly is your own people, and we are too smug and to not to, and have not recognized that. But that's what getting. And then there's another thing. Oh, they got all of these benefits. Uh, 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 take advantage. Well, not really. But I'm saying, yes, I didn't want to use that word. They have, let's say, reached this place where everything is everything, let's say they can exercise their, and they speak, and they fight with each other. Just take advantage of that. Because we are the money. Or I'm saying money, quote, unquote, all right? We're the resource. And if we want to keep leaving ourselves out, I want to say leaving your asset out, somebody's going to take them. So now, um, uh, the, the 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 final so I read Amendment Nine okay nothing is nothing is taken away from you nine and ten all right yet if we enforce it this law of the land that is designed to keep a, what is the process of the Constitution for to keep you from being molested by other citizens damn can we do it for that reason if nothing else that's a good dad going reason ain't it. But that you got in for and say, oh no, he was not fun you know, you need to be a citizen of that and here's something about the divine constitution. Well, yeah, you should enforce that too. Because it teaches you the principles that are necessary to be a society. To be be better. Citizens, national, whatever your position is going to be. Um so here we are, uh, uh let me see. I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that at the end. It is um, <clears throat> we are not in this. Okay, so if we would all of course that we would not be molested by other citizens who are clothed with only certain rights and privileges. <clears throat> those, are, those, those are the subject, naturalized, and foreign citizens. And then you got some of you more that want to naturalize you on your own damn land. Because they think they're British more. If you really want to tell the truth about it, anybody who does that is thinking from the mindset of a British more. <clears throat> and, you know, using terminology such as foreign ministers from a British law, but that's still, that's not, this and British law, this is American law, an American one. You know? <clears throat> so, that's what's happening with that. Still, trying to remove you from your position on your ancestral state. This Friday in chapter 47. I don't get that. You got some of you are more, you've been more active, whatever, for 30 years. More years you tell me you're active, the worse it is for me. And you should really go to that somewhere because the more years you put on it, it makes you look real bad because you obviously didn't understand what you read. This is your ancestral estate. The prophet even told you that. You're going to tell me you what? You're going to bring British rule into the American land? That British rule was for the slave ship you told you that really was here. So you want to naturalize me back into the Al Morocco. You're not even naturalizing me into the Al Morocco uh, government and empire. You're naturalizing me into the United States of America on top of that. So my own brethren is trying to naturalize me into a jurisdiction that is not left for me. You can't even try to go and figure out what sense that makes. It makes none. Because it doesn't come from the proper principle. Yes! What they've been doing for 34 years, I've been in this moment for 30 years, 40 years. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're only showing that nothing, that, 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 that the furthest perceptions have been passed down from people who either didn't study or were infiltrated. One of the two. Because you can't tell me that you're that right and you do that. 
Because what that says is that you didn't even read either. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that you just listen to your master before you, maybe, your your grand speaker, whatever it is that you learned from, and you just trusted in it. But you also forgot that this was all infiltrated a long time ago. Not a secret. So just do a little bit more due diligence to try to put it and correct on the correct path. At least because we're coming in and the youth behind is coming in and they're not going to be that stupid. They're not going to forget just because they didn't get taught how to write in third grade during these generations that they don't know how. They know that man was by signs and symbols. They know that we're all energy. And they can read you by looking in your eyes and dismiss you from just that alone if need be. And walk that narrow path, only as it may be, because it's only on that path that they're going to find those that are in the same direction. So follow the dictation of your soul. Right? So here we go. We finish this up here so we can get to the fun part, I guess. Um, now, I want to say this. And I, I already told you that the Constitution can't be altered, can't be changed or otherwise amended unless those who are authorized to do so and those authorized are running around taking the day off, Negro, colors, black, and let's say uh, British. Uh, <laughs> And that they can buy their sauce. Although, some of this, just any mixture that you, you want. Although we, please walk out of Congress and Senate and leaving no new date to convene as Congress. There's no Congress. All that is all full. That's why the profit came and told them, where are y'all going? Here. Here. On this law. It's all irrelevant. Well, you know, they just made a law in Congress. Just didn't read the Constitution. Because it can be done. I don't care if they don't agree with their president. We already said if Congress is Congress is in was not convened and it isn't since 1861. I don't care if they got three what well uh, what is it nonsense or whatever the heck it is they get it's in the Constitution. It doesn't matter. It's not going to fly. It's not a law. It's not a bill that becomes a law or a law that becomes a bill. None of that. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, I, I, I sad to say the truth to be, in today's time, if you are lacking the fundamental principles and foundation of truth, you will probably lose your mind. Because you can't stand. Oh. You don't have a foundation to stand on, and there's a lot of things coming at you right now. A lot of things coming at you, testing your chin, your foundation, who you are, and more to upright, independent, and fearless, right? Every day. And follow the prophet to, uh, 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 okay, I almost get my voice, but victory is assured. So it means that is. It's in the Morris literature. Animal Morris literature, please. The truth is the Lord and He's so proud of you, right? And that too. So there you go. He and Bay's work. Wonderful work. But now I got people all know he and Bay. He was, he was, what it is like, they kicked him out. All kinds of craziness. You know what I mean? Like that. So you got to follow the dictate. Morris literature, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so. So now, although we did walk out, um, leaving no date to convene, it still remains as the law of the land and that it must be, right? So the organic constitution then, that we know we have to follow, uh, are the seven articles in the Ten Bill of Rights. But then if you read 11, the 11th, 12th, and then the 13th, which is the last one, right, that is real. 14th came after that. 11 and 12 just come to you to read, I believe, 9 and 10. If you really read it. <laughs> 13, put the nail in the coffin, if you will, 
in reference to who can and cannot be citizens of the United States of America because of Article 12. What? No. Don't keep this take us anywhere because... Oh, that's what you're to do. Yeah. Yeah, I think you said that. That's right. That's right. Now, now the idea of that is you'll have some laws who talk about the 13th Amendment. They're telling you that you're citizens of the United States of America or that you need to become citizens of the United States of America or that you need to nationalize to become citizens of the United States of America. When the day on the 13th Amendment says you can't be citizens of it. So you want to talk about, brother, you want to talk about mental illness, right? That's mental ill. <laughs> that's a problem. Or that's, uh, I got paid to tell y'all this, to keep this other thing alive. Yeah. Other around yourself, which is right the truth that we tell. That's it. That's wrong. All right, so now look. Listen to this here. Let me see. So what is, okay, so here I told you the Constitution is a written document. As such, it cannot be altered. What it meant when it was adopted, it means now that's a case, South Carolina versus U.S. So it's telling you that somebody adopted it. You know, and it's in the earth. So what is the supreme issue? It is to enforce it. That's it. Now, in my opinion, the first thing we need to do is teach it. Right? But it ain't much to teach. Read it. Let's talk about it. Let's not anybody missing and or in this movie. We want to know what Constitution was down on our sister standing on law, very first series of class. As we had the intro class, maybe another class. We then, and it's on the site, we then broke down every article and so for you to do it because it's only met once a month on this particular blog. Make your time to do tests that you have to answer. But you'll get the answers because the next week month we gave the answers. We would put the syllabus out and say, go look, look this up. And then we would discuss it. So, you know, you have some people that say, well, you know, Army Bay, y'all need to have a test for people. We have the open book. Yeah, you know what? We have to open up. Who can reduce knowledge? Who's picking up your stuff? Now, when you have some tests, I'm going to put a page up to show you all the places to look if you have tests. But you got to take the test yourself. He said it, and people still running after the wrong thing. It's like, whatever. It'll, it'll be all right, because that's all you really got to do. But you won't know that until you do it. Yeah. Oh, you know, I get so tired of saying the same thing sometimes. Don't we all have to eat? Don't we? Sometimes I get tired of saying the same thing. But I like what you're saying, and you've injected it in the right place. If the prophet told you, since we're talking about this right now, this, this, this amendment is the Constitution, this will be the place. If the prophet himself said, there is no need when he was here, who did the limit to be when he was here? For the 14th Amendment, for the salvation of my people. Why are you going after things that come and are established? Well, the driver's license is in the The birth certificate. If I could get you to think it, you free yourself. He already warned you. But if you're an unsteady person, you didn't recognize that warning because you didn't, these people didn't study. <laughs> That's why he's a prophet. That's right, Brother Lon. You see, so he already gave you what you needed to know in reference to these things. So the problem I have is don't tell me you're following him and you didn't get that. And then you want to go tell the other suspecting uh, uh, the generations that come, in, that come, or anybody, that you are following. No. You're doing it that you really, you know, are steady. I wanted to say an idiot, but I don't want to call people an idiot. But they can't. Because an idiot means one who knows nothing of their birth right to job and look that up. An idiot is one who knows nothing of their birth right. It's right in the definition. 
and it is not likely that they will ever find out. So, yes, yeah, so you are an idiot. That's possible. Now, Abdullah pointed us to that in one of his other moments because as I go sit up, I remember that. I, I, I've forgotten something that I refuse to remember. I mean, I used to. But, yeah, you're right. So, yes, yeah, so you're an idiot. So just, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to say it and do it. Now, now I know I can. <laughs> you're saying, after the prophet said, there's no need for the 14th Amendment, Amendment for the salvation of our people. And then you're going to try to have people to do things that, that are in regard to it. Then it means that you are an idiot. One who knows nothing of their birthright and not like to see that. Because the problem we have with people who have been doing it a lot of things for a long time is they refuse to make the change. They refuse to feel the feeling that that sensation that comes, that is a rush, that comes to you and says you are wrong, change your position, and it, and only it, elevates you while you're standing right there to another level because you are able to do that. You are able to see the error of your own way and notice there's a greater, higher thing than you. But ego won't allow that. So when these days are time, ego falling down. Hard. Hard. So here we go. So so this means then that the supreme issue is to enforce the Constitution. We must first teach it then. Teach our people those things that are necessary. And then we become better citizens or black nationals because we want to make a decision that citizens does remember. But there will be no Citizenship ranks without the national. There would be no need for it. So when you talk citizenship broadly, you're talking national and then uh, naturalized subject and firm. The full class. Yep, that's it. So now, um, so. From there, we will find some degree of attachment to civilization, right, if we learn civilization principles. And it will be, this will help us to remove ourselves from this travesty. It really will. The saddest part to the shame of all of this is that the more, uh, I, I don't know what those who, whether they're in a temple, not in a temple, the science temple, or whatever they is, okay, but that the Moorish Holy Temple of Science was designed to be regency, where you could certainly go and can certainly get assistance necessary of whatever or discuss or whatever. Now where you can go and be reduced because you don't believe your U.S. exists. That's what it was for. Seven image is clear, clear that it's infiltrated. Well, what do you need? That's one of the reasons. So now, the failure of anyone acting in the capacity as it was established to be um, causes any other local establishment, be it county government, so-called county government, uh, to take their position and block out the people. Why should they be for you? Why should they do anything to you? They're not there for you. But they'll they'll suck your blood and take your if you don't know how to hold it. Um, this is where, like for instance, the ballot, we already talked about it. Ballots, you know, like we are supposed to be able to cast about a ballot, not this voting poll or anything like that. And there's a there is a loss in respect of minister and council observant, which is our three. So we seem to be a shambles, but we're only in this position because of our own failure of our own transgressions regarding the same. All right? So if there are any issues that are regarding us, they all will belong in it belongs to uh, what has to be in a council court, but everyone knows council court was uh, disbanded back in, mm, I think it was 67. 
seven to get why? Because there's no national. It's your court. They're not national. They can't have functional parties. But can we really reestablish something like that when we're arguing over whether or not we're United States citizens or not? United States of America citizens. But then when someone does establish it, they got to put up these blocks. Like, they got to put up these blocks. Like, I don't know, don't let them in. You know, now you got to go into the court saying, you know, it's okay. It is. So, we need to uh, recognize what Article 3, Section 2, which spells out the venues that must be provided if anybody's going to deal with you, especially for national. If there is an issue between state and a state person, you end up getting be heard and it's not supposed to be heard, it's not an it And then it says that, the, well, like I said, with no national speaking up, no need to provide any such venue because it says that whatever, when, it, when the issue happened in a state, it will be held in the state in which it happened. But when it happened in no state, well, oh, how's that possible? Because. You know that you're not a member, nor are you in a state. It's already supported in the Constitution. So then it's like, well, you better find the fact you know you to talk to me. And if, I, if the consular ain't up, even with that, even with the consular court not being there, which, which should be for us to affect the way what we need to against others, really. But even if it's not up, they still can't talk to you and theirs. It's all supported. I'm sorry, brother. You that. <laughs> I like the way you the phone. It would actually depend on the situation because a lot of people right now are in prison. They think they're in a state prison when they're in a municipal corporation prison. And and also they think they're in a federal prison when they're in a municipal corporation prison. Just because the building outside says federal prison or state prison doesn't make it a federal or state prison because that would be treason. And and see a lot of people they don't understand. There's a case law that talks about the police. The police are not there to protect the people, they're there to protect corporations. It is for that reason that the feds and the state don't have police. They have police who are disguised as state police. They got a little emblem on that says state police, or they have a cruiser that says state police car, but those are all municipal employees. Same thing with the sheriff. If the sheriff is attacking the people, he's police disguised as a sheriff because the sheriff is by law, is supposed to protect the people. Islam? Try this up so we can... Okay, so, listen, here's, here's the deal. We have to study, study, study to show ourselves the proof, and it would unveil the fact that we are, were and still are a nation state already, and that nation state authorized the Constitution as to prove our trust. If we could get the people to go back to the mindset of their ancient form of them for us, they would know that and find it Simple to bring forth and effectuate. We cannot move on without knowledge itself, which means knowledge of contributions, in our case, the whole of civilization and humanity. The interesting thing is that the wrath of our law, which is Mother Nature, or the nature of Mother, in its essence, is going to take care of it all. As President Woodrow Lee said, the great God of our law, of the uni- great God of our the universe, will not be pleased if we do not refrain from our sinful ways. Upon us, now, is the great and dreadful day. The foreign European colonists have morphed themselves into four bodies in their court, as in a dead body, and they have usurped life for the living, or life from the living. Yet, are falling, yet they are falling themselves as the true Christ ray shines its everlasting light on those who acknowledge what in for life is. Suddenly the curtain is pulled and the scene is not the real. Those who rally in that power are not as great, are not as great as they appear. It is the perceived authority and power and lack of knowledge which automatically gives lead for anyone to continue their conquest intent from their foremothers and forefathers. They desire to be, they desire to be civilly dead and ignorant of life. 
But they are falling, and they are trying to take as many of you with them as they can, dead or alive. Those who are still asleep <clears throat> are thinking in their mind, oh, my goodness, last is sick. But they're falling. And they are trying to figure out what to do, as they know not what the true light is and what it does. We will, as they do not know what the true light is, we will be left with the faith and trying to figure out or rather remember how she feeds us and tells us. Those who are removed from that knowledge are not going to fare well because nature has no respect for persons or faith. The occurrences of the day is a global cleanse, not a global warning. And the results are for this. Offer this. But the results are this great and dreadful death upon us all. Change here. As for any of those dirty moors, descendants of the mothers and fathers of civilization and civilization principles who continue to act uncivilized and have been selling people's birthrights and sovereignty packages, that's from back in 2011, redeeming and authenticating certificates that are unredeemable and already authenticated as void of initial instruments of human trafficking of the children of the earth. That means they are simply not studied, nor are they really in honor of their own existence and their obligation on this earth. They cannot see that the night, the very night that clipped their umbilical cord from their mother, has been passed down to them. They will never see their way if they do not know from whence they came and what nationality is, or rather, if they do not honor their mothers and fathers by name and by birth. The sickness is in us. And unveils itself as arrogance, egocentricity, selfishness, and insecurity. And one does not take heed and trust in their own descendancy, of which no man, no man and no paper can say. Then there is no trust, no heed, no deed to take observance of. It is the younger generation that, that can take on this garb, as they are the ancestors we turn. We are all our ancestors we turn. And the children after us are our ancestors return. Thus we are they and they are we forevermore. They are posterity and posterity is absolutely attached to trust, to family, to government, as government is family and nationhood is government. Thus we are the divine trustees as the benefactors of the earth and the resources of the earth. I trust you we need the ultimate agreement. Yet we have established and granted the constitution and then we fall asleep and fail to enforce and protect that which protects us. When I tell people we are the divine trustees and the benefactors, they usually begin to discuss the written trust and tell me that no one can be the trustee or the benefactor. However, they miss the key factor of an express trust, which means express it. It is time for all men to confess their own worth under their own violent history. The divine trust is granted to us by all law, the universal law, and it is the unseen that creates the scene. Do your work. What are you here to divinely do? Question mark. Servants ourselves, we must speak from our spirit man, and we will be guided as victory is assured. And lastly, because of what appears to be a lawful command on the surface, many people, because of their respect for what only appears to be law, are cunningly coerced into waiving their rights due to ignorance, and that's the case law called U.S. Supreme Court and U.S. versus Minka. Minka. So, did I say the Christ way was coming? Did I say the children of the sun was so bringing me into, into uh, the children of the earth? The children of the earth, right? Where are we today with all this winter solstice coming in, right? Right? Do we know what that, we call it Christmas. Can anybody in here tell me why you really ought to be acknowledging it or celebrating it because celebration, how many people know what celebration means? Oh, who said what? Oh, the brother, how are you doing? <laughs> it is. So let's get real about it. The less geo Vibration, right? Meaning movement of some celestial, 
uh, blend body, right? Right? So we're dealing with celebration. Celebration. Celestial vibration. Got it? What is happening today is called the what? Winter solstice. Because there's only four points. Can you all see this or is this in a way? Okay. There's only four points. You have what? You have east to west. You have north to south. What is that, but across? So now, huh? I can't hear you. Say that again. Well, actually, um, that's a nine. All of it comes out to a nine. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is a 45 degree angle, which is, of course, the square. You're born on the square. Born on the square. That's why. Born on the square. And even if you take it and you drop it into season, where it's straight, you're still looking at 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees. And what is that but a 90? Which is a square. Universe is messing man. Knowing astrology cosmology is, is absolutely important. Because that's what it all comes from. Really? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no problem. So, uh, there you go. So now, are you got that? It doesn't matter whether you Aries, Taurus, Gemini, repeat, Cancer, uh, Leo, Virgo, repeat, Libra, Scorpio, um, Sag, repeat, Cancer, I mean, uh, Capricorn, uh, Pisces. It's all the same. It's, it's beginning emerge, you know, and, and flesh out. It's a season. So this is a map of a blueprint of what's happening and how the sun goes the direction of the sun. That's it. That's all that it is. I know. You can make some of you on the clock, right? Um, you can already say that, right? Who's going to say that? You were going to say it? Do you understand why? Would you like me to tell the direction of the sun. That's all that it is. But they took it and took it the other way. The sun cycle of life. And it takes put it the other way death. But we refuse it because we don't even know. When we see it correct, we don't even know. So where are we now in the winter solstice? We are right up here. Now, up here, I say up here because, you know, really, it's south and north, but when you're looking at the um, cosmologically, uh, uh, it's over here, from looking down from the uh, above, and so uh, you have south here and you have north. All right? I mean, you have north and south. This is, that's why this is the north gate. Because cause you got to look at it from the position of looking down from the heavens, God's looking down, and it's will to twitch. You see what I'm saying? And if you don't know that, you it can cause great confusion. You say, what do you mean? Why you got the west over here? It's really over here. It's the you and what you're looking at. And if you see one uh, that has um, Aries at the top instead of here at the spring, see, this is equal now, equal now, equal days and equal nights. That only happens in April or March. I say April. March 21st for the spring, right? Right? And for the fall, right? Right? Because the sun is falling. It's going to its lowest point. It's going to get to the winter months, which starts here, what? October, you know, November, December, right? That's why it's just a logical thing. So this is the equinox, the balance. Equal days and equal nights. Then you have this going from north to south. Which is a solstice because so is the sun, right? And sight means to stand. So the sun stands. This is about a cycle. Yeah, because there's no time. When you work at this you all the time, and you will clearly understand why there is no such thing as time. So where are we on this map? We are at the winter 
so but Capricorn is being brought in. Right? Because Capricorn starts the new season. There's only four seasons on this uh, four corners of the earth. You understand what I'm saying? And then where you are, how, how, how it is. So now, so we're at a stand still. So, uh, so, uh, so what do we mean stand? It also happens down here in the summer time, too, but it'll tell you about that one. So the sun is Christ, right? That's true, brother. Right? So now, it stops and appears to stop on the stand. And it stops or tends to stop because nothing, everything's always in motion for how many days? Three days. As the story starts, oh, wait a minute, let me add one more part to it. So then, three days later, it begins to turn them over again. And if you read the soggy book, it says it seems like the sun that shoots out of its rays and starts going. Does the story sound familiar? That's what it's about. It's not about a person who is the baby. It's not. It's just, I don't care. It's not about that. It's about this. That's what it's talking about. The sun. As you end. Not as all as. That helps the ego. This exposed the ego to the SOS. Uh, you, know what I mean? you know what I mean? Who needs the SOS? <laughs> so it's standing still now. And then it's going to move forward. And if you pay attention, starting to take, now, somebody say 21st, some say 22nd. You got to realize we're on a 24 one side of the earth to the other side. But really, you're only on the 12 because you're not on the other side. And that's why it's 12 steps. So there would be a lot of things they use the 12 steps to do, whatever. But it's really 12. So, so, so you're going to go outside and you're going to feel and see with eyes that which is unseen and feel with your senses a sense of what? Feel. Who said that? Oh, you did it. <laughs> it's there. But until I knew and until you Experience it one time. This is so close off. You are not going to recognize it. You know, they all kind of say, say today, it's quite, you recognize it. Yeah. You know, especially down in the, um, our, our, our family from South, uh, I'll say South America, they don't think I mean down South, right? So let me get it straight. On the South American uh, continent, because that's where many of the cities of astrology went down at, and they were called uh, their degree of attainment for those studies for were, were, were the day, the evil. It's then, but we, you know, I'm not telling people to go choose that because you can't, because you got to first be a or a that fundamental before you can talk about attaining anything over and above that. And you can't be the or the bay, you can't be nothing else. Fundamental. That's why it just says healing bay. And we got people coming in and they want to be the day and the bay and the alley and the eel all at one time. And the noble on top of that and the king too. Let's come to bridge. You know, I'm like, wait a minute. You're in with a bay first. Well, I'm making it wrong for sir. What the hell? You want to know fundamental? And you know, you know, teach something? Be that. Fundamental first. Instead of trying to jump into all that other stuff. But, um, so this is what's happening. So it's going to stand still and then it's going to start moving. Now, the representation of everlasting life. Everybody who they have everlasting life, they say, I don't care what religion you call yourself a party to, you know, no harm be known to you, to what it really is. They all tell you the same thing. Everlasting life. Am I right? Right? Because you know that you do because anything that is manifested, uh, that, that anything that's physical will perish. 
right? So we're just the manifestation of, of law in the flesh, right? Arm, head, leg, arm, head, Allah. Some people are afraid of the word Allah. Oh, my God, this is some, this is some fancy, you know, that, that's what kind of religion is that? Arm, leg, leg, arm, head, manifestation of all law into the flesh. So that's the five when it starts, correct? So, the, huh? Oh, wow, well, you know. People get very upset at us when we tell the truth about the feminine. I, I'm not even going to, you, you'll find it out for yourself. <laughs> you know what? And if you don't, you won't. But it won't be because I told you you want to fight me. But it's true. Because so you can just check that out by the language. Because A A in the language is feminine. A L L A S. So we didn't argue about that. You see the deal. You know, and you must receive that. Because, like I said, the nature of mother is on your mind right now. And the great and dreadful day is what the wrath of Allah is. What it will be for you, I don't know. I want to be on the great side instead of the dreadful, trying hard. <laughs> yes. Oh, the European stuff, the earth was flat, too. Oh no. They still say, Miss, Miss Ray, you got a question for you. From the moon satellite. That's around. What's your take on the new thing now reverting back that the earth is flat? Ah! Hold it. I. And it's all in the air, it's all in your mind, and it is all on somebody's crazy ass mind, it's gonna be all in there. All right, what's up? I heard somebody said circle seven, not flat seven. Not, even though there's only seven musical notes and all that. Uh, wait a minute. Say that again because I know like, nobody will hear you because I got the mic on. You said a day, day, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, it's black. Uh, they're desperate. And they know that there's still some people that are also just as desperate because, you know, in the other manner. So let's give them whatever. So I just want to say this. So the five, I was at the five point of time. So what are you supposed to, all right, so everlasting life, right? What is representative of everlasting life? Now, green, what? Now, I don't want anyone who really knows and heard this lesson before. <laughs> what? Oh, did you? The evergreen tree. Ada! That's why you have the evergreen tree or what they call a pine tree in your house. On this solstice. It's a symbol of everlasting life. So then what is usually put on top of that pine tree? A five pointed star. So now is this make it a little easier for you to stop rebuking the natural cycle? of nature and lessons therein because you're not going to celebrate Christmas because it's the so-called white man's holiday. When it's your holy day, you know, you see, that's one of those aha moments right there, they for that. And it makes you realize there's something in you that comes up and says, oh my goodness, all these years I've been depriving myself of that great melody of which that they ever drank, the evergreen tree put into the house and you know, and that five point it started represents on um, leg leg on there and they have a lesson like there is etc. like that. All this time. And the the the, the tree, you know, we're talking green and red. What do I call it? Green and red. Mars and the, the feminine and masculine energy is green and red. Mars and Venus. Mother and, and, and 
or masculine and feminine. And we throw it out the window due to simply lack of knowledge. And then they're like, so I'm going to know what it means. I, you shouldn't even care what it means to someone else, but you should know what it means to you. Yeah, you sound like Christmas. Are you eating a massive coffee where the sun is coming from? You know, the fall is coming here because it's getting ready to really, really fall here during the winter months. And then when it gets to uh, Aries or April, the spring, it's exalted. Excuse me, you guys in the back, please. It's exalted. It's exalted in the spring. Home in Leo. Why is it home in Leo? Because they are, when cancer, uh, 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 when cancer comes in the summer solstice, because Leo is the center of that purpose of uh, 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 season, and if you are Leo, you're going to rule by the sun. So it's doing its court back, that's all. And it becomes exalted right here, highly exalted. See, let's go right here, come to God. To grow at all the plants, the seeds that we follow. Along. And so then when we get to the fall of the it's it, 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 it time for what? Thanksgiving for all the seeds that the earth has provided to us that we have planted. Ah. So they'll call it, um, oh, what do they call it? Uh, harvest time, in another word, to cover up the fact that there will be also people, other people, who know are having and is celebrating and acknowledging the harvest season all the time. While your students are, I don't know if thank you. Very first time I put up information about Thanksgiving on RV publication, boy, I had a son write me and was spicy up one side and down the other because that's when they cut off the heads of us when we were eating. Yep, they sure did come up in our last time and take the sword and cut the cheese. Uh, all head off. That did happen. That's not that it did happen, but I'm not telling you what the time period was. <laughs> so I'm glad that over the years that has changed our trust to realize that we had to not ignore those energies, you know. But yeah, they, I, I'm like, they woke me and go to the house. I can keep that and they cut off her head. Mick, I can you tell me to come back in for a minute when you go out here? So, so we can all close out and hear from him or something. Uh, so now do we better understand the true law of the universe and why they told you don't study astrology because it's whatever, because it'll bring you closer to the truth of where you're supposed to be and resonate with. Right? Do you get it now? Anything else I'm missing on the summer, on the winter, I think I explained it enough. If you want to get a green tree from my garden, go get it. It's representative of everything. And if you want to give gifts, it's giving gifts because the sun decided not to disappear and decided to, to stay, use this related term, and decided to move forward after resting. It looked like he in the grave for a minute, apparently, and therefore giving continued life. So, St. Michael, was it Michael? St. Maurice. St. Maurice with a statue right now over in England. In Germany. Right now. He's got a picture of it on the site. He's the one who decided to start giving you a notification. You know, people not think. <laughs> That's where it started from, from him. Celebrating the life. The sun. <laughs> and the gift. So he went and gave gifts. So they just got me over him. There's no jolly old Santa Claus and red cheeks coming to give you a baby. That sounds like some weird stuff. Yeah, Santa so come on in. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I got some cookies for you too. So with that being told and telling it from that position, then you're just saying, this is where they got this other stuff from. This is what it is. And it cannot be with you. I thought you wanted to add something to close out, but you got to come over here. You got to come over here. Can't hear you. <laughs> Can I see your phone? 
Yes, you do, because we got to go out. Mm-hmm. You're mine. He's mine. I'm going to take my, I'm going to go back to hand that your Peace and love, baby. Hold on,
So now I gotta run back and say, well, were you gonna were you planning to do Christianity or something? And then explain the intent of that and understand that the true Christ friend and why and what your religion is and not the Christian religion that was not founded in this country or that government was not founded on that doctrine. But they'll tell you that it is. They're talking about that stuff. So if you get that clear, then you would automatically never be able to say that you were a Christian. It's about the treaty. The friendship is about the Christian. The more a Christian power that Christian Wow. Yes. Coming what? Um, true. That's another thing I was writing in there. Make sure you understand that there's different sectionalisms in Islam of what they shouldn't be. And so you got to be clear about all of that. That is a called what? Study. Study, study. And when you think you have studied well, that thing was to study next. I would tell you to study yourself, and studying yourself is knowing. It's right here for the first time tonight. Got a practice to do. Practice to do. See, when I say anybody here the first time, nobody says anything. You thought that got a practice to do. People you. Uh-huh. No. First time being here. No, no, no. Okay. So if you have something to add. Oh, okay. I, I just did this. You know what? We don't want to get this. This is going to get us more time, too. <laughs> Anybody else? First time. Uh, so with that, I think it's time for us to uh, close back. Yes, yes, yes. That's on my team. And Brother Ali is going to do it for us. The way. What? It's on. Back to thinking time.